Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakak Wadash, and double honors to the head apostles of the great millstone that have taught me what I know, and including the bishops on down too. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And um, once again, it's your brother Laban at you with another video. And in this video, what I want to talk about is, um, as this article puts it, UK government says being pro-life is a potential stepping stone to terrorism. Preventing training part of the UK government counterterrorism strategy lumps being anti-abortion together with other uh, single issue ideologies that could potentially lead to terrorist acts. And they have here the UK government is including being anti-abortion as one of the benchmarks of potential future terrorism, according to the Right to Life UK. And the government's counterterrorism strategy includes prevent a preventative training to stop people from becoming terrorists or supporting terrorism. It is aimed at individuals who work in education, health, local authorities, police and criminal justice. And the training is set to focus on Islamist extremist right wing ideologies and including examples of what it considers single issues ideologies that can lead to terrorism and um what i want to talk about is the main thing which is on topic here and concerning uh you know this abortion stuff which this abortion stuff has been going on for ages now and um <clears throat> you know at first when we talk about who spawned the whole idea of setting up Abortion clinics was this woman by the name of Margaret Sanger. And, um, you know, this were this was his, this, excuse me, this was her exact quote. And, and, and now it said that um, you have these fact checkers saying that she really didn't say that, that, you know, that that was not what she said. But th this is the quote here, you know, as we found the quote originally of what she said. And um, this is what is what this is what it says over here. What she said, excuse me. The most successful education approach to the Negro is through a religious appeal. And we do not want, here's the point, we do not want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. And the minister is the man who can straighten out that idea if it even occurs to any of their uh, more rebellious members. So that's what was said by her. Because at that time, and, and it's still the same right now, it's just that these devils have become more diplomatic in their in, in their racism nothing's changes the same okay but she said it she said she didn't want word to get out that the deal is is to exterminate the negro population and i mean like that's not so um unbelievable because we know the history of the so-called white man against the so-called negro and and even things that have been happening currently between um you know, Jake and Esau, so to speak. So, you know, that attitude, that energy, that tension is still being shown right now. So it's it's not unbelievable to me. And um, a lot of Jake is, if I'm being honest, a lot of Jake's are waking up and realizing that, um, you know, the so-called white man is really the enemy against our people. Okay. A lot of truth is coming out now. They just like what came out with, um, the, the history concerning, you know, who we really are, the people of the Bible, which uh, Vladimir Putin brought that out, you know, however he said it, he said, look, man, and however he said it, he said, you know, we have to um, worship the black Jesus or however he put it. But it was a public, he made the statement public to reveal all of the, um, the Russian icons, the, the images that they had and showing what everybody always knew, but they didn't want to come out with it. And I'm talking about people in the West, people, so-called white people, primarily in the West. Um, I would say personally, a reasonable amount of them did know that the, the biblical characters and the most important people in the world, basically, that which was written in history, the so-called black people. But they just didn't really want to announce that because we're here in the West. And um, another thing, too. The so-called JWO has brainwashed these regular peon Edomites to believe in this ideology of white supremacy from the day that they were born. So there's a lot of pride in that. And they can't, because of their pride, allow Jake to know that they're the greatest people alive. 
okay? And, you know, to be honest with you, it's not their business to reveal the truth because they're not, they're not about the truth. They're about lies. Anyway, so it's really in us to do our due diligence to find it out for ourselves, okay? But, um, you know, the thing of it is with, with the Russians and, you know, Putin just in general, you know, Putin has had enough with the West. And that's why he did that. He did that to piss the West off. <laughs> okay, but whatever reason he did it for, he just brought the truth out. That we are the people of the Bible. The so-called black people, the so-called Latino and Native American Indians are the people of the Bible. Are indeed the children of Israel. Okay? If Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man, and King Solomon and King David, all of the all of the um the characters that even Esau looks up to, then it's a rap for white supremacy. There's no such thing as white supremacy. It never has been. <laughs> okay, and uh, Vladimir Putin bringing that information out there just solidified that. Okay, because we in the West we've been taught to look at so-called white people as supreme. I'm going somewhere else with this man. And, and um, as the image of divinity, all of that stuff, right? And even Ham, Shem, and Japhet, all three of the sons were so-called white people, and including uh, uh, Noah himself. Everybody was the so-called white man. And uh, the so-called black people in the West were descendants of Canaan. They were Canaanites. So then that would then justify um, oppressing us because, you know, according to the scriptures, Cain was cursed because he looked, he looked upon his father's uh, nakedness, which was... Uh, uh, let me see if I'm, let me, let me, uh, let me go back and read it. Cause it's been some time since I went into it. Yeah. All right. So let me go up and let me read this. Genesis nine and 24. Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done unto him. And he said, curse be Canaan, a servant of servants shall be unto his brethren. So they so there it is right there. So what they were saying was, is which is an old ideology going back years ago, <laughs> right? That so-called black, the so-called black man in America primarily, and just black so-called blacks in the West are descendants of Canaan. So then, basically, that would that gave justification for the oppression of so-called black people. You know, it was okay to look at so-called Negroes as less than even prior, um, even in the days of um, slavery. As it was said that uh, the so-called Negro is three-fifths of a man. All right? So, you know, the thing of it is, that's pretty much Western old philosophy, which is now out of style because the truth is being declared more and more every day. And the truth is, is that we are the true supremacy, naturally. OK, you know, our biological makeup is much more superior than theirs. Um, our historical accounts are superior. I mean, the truth is coming out. But see, back in the back in the 1970s, 60s and the 50s, I mean, <laughs> you know, it was it was common knowledge that the so-called Negro man wasn't was was wasn't shit. So much so that even so-called black people believed in it. OK, but now is a different generation is a different time now where the truth is is that we are everything that which is supreme. Now, are we looking supreme right now? Oh, hell no. Because we're under them curses. We are under them curses because of our disobedience against our power. But when it's all said and done, when Yahweh Shai shows and demonstrates his mercy upon the elect, the nation of Israel, right? Then we're going to be brought back to our true estate. So anyway... <laughs> I don't mean to get off topic here, but um, I want to talk about this again concerning this abortion stuff, man. Um, which, you know, I mentioned that Margaret Sanger, Margaret Sanger said what she said right here, right? And um, you know, the agenda actually worked as well, because what I want to what I want to also bring in is as well is to say that um. You know, it's it's the truth. Um, a lot of so-called black women throughout the years since 1973 have killed millions of so-called uh, Negro babies. I mean, like even since the 2010s, I mean, 
so-called black women were, were, were aborting, you know, their children at an alarming rate, even at that time. Like it was out, like it was going out of style, you know, like it was hotcakes. Let's just keep it real. So now what you got going on now is happening among Esau. Okay. You got a lot of um, so-called white women that's, that's doing this now. And, um, you know, their population is very sensitive. It's not so much accordingly as you compare it to the darker races. You know, they don't they don't make up much of the population. So they don't need this at all. <laughs> all right. And this is why um, you have these pro-lifers. One of the reasons why you have these pro-lifers out there, because a reasonable amount of them do know that they don't make up much population. You know, and among these devils, it's more old people. And this is something that I, I, I've observed for quite a bit of time. I've, I've observed, especially down here in um, England, you know, you got a lot of old Edomites more than you have young Edomites. You know, that was just, that's just my observ observation. If you certain one of you brothers know what I'm talking about. Okay, maybe I could be wrong on that, but that's just my observation. Um, I've, I've seen more old Edomites than, than the young. And maybe I'm not wrong because... um. You know, there's there's a lot of talk about how they're not that fertile in terms of populating their race in comparison to Jake. So, um, yeah, let me read some more of this over here. Um, you know what? I've read I've, I've read what I needed to read on this. Let's even read this over here. Um, the book of Deuteronomy 30 and 7 now. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 and verse 7, as this reads, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And one of the curses is that they're having an issue with this abortion thing, like we did. All right? Oh, yeah, that's another situation right there, man. <laughs> I don't know why the computer took me there. Yeah, so like I said, um, they're um, having to deal with this problem. Like Jake did. Okay. And like I said, they don't need this issue because their population is very small in comparisons to the darker races. So they're just going to get rid of themselves more quicker. You know what I mean? If their women keep doing this stuff, man. <laughs> All right. And I mean, to really be honest with you, I mean, it, it, it actually is murder because um, when you're talking about, this is why it's called abortion. I mean, come on. The, the word tells you it itself. If it wasn't murder, then why would why would the, the term be to get rid of your newborn baby? Why would it be called abortion? Because a lot of people that get into this stuff, I don't really think they really understand. Um, I mean, most people understand the basics of biology, but I don't think most people understand the in depth. And I mean, I myself included, I'm not well versed in biology, but what I do know is this is that um, the sperm is already alive even before it even gets to the woman in the nutsack, okay? That's why, you know, when, when there's sexual um, activity, you know, the man busts a nut in the vagina and then the, the sperm shoots towards the egg. So if, if the sperm... If the sperm is already dead, is what people think, right? Because they're not that more in depth with the knowledge of biology. Then why would the sperm swim towards the egg? And why would it turn into a fetus and then grow? In order for something to in order for something to grow, it has to be alive to grow. Okay, so the thing of it is is is, is actual murder. And according to the law, um, that states that thou shalt not murder. All right. And um, you got these women out here that's just spreading their legs all over the place, man. And just wanting to be liberal and not have a care in the world and just want to have fun and um, defile their gene pool, have you will. And um, they want to get rid of the child and then they can go right back to doing that whole stuff that they be doing. So lucky. as I just read, being a pro-life is a potential stepping stone to terrorism. And the ultimate reason why Esau 
sees this as terrorism because it goes against their agenda. And their agenda is to, is to cause death, to depopulate. So if you can get a bunch of people that can accept these ideologies of women, if you can convince average people that abortion is good and um, the same sex getting it on sexually, then you can very well bring the population down on a drastic scale in the span of like maybe just even 10 years. Okay, because the people that's behind all of this stuff, the people that's behind um, government or and as well as your government, they're all dancing together with the same tune. And, um, you know, they want us to be out of here. You know, this is why during that time period, which happened four years ago, they told people to, to do the, to, to do the you know what. And um, that also added more to the population. Back in 2007, um, it came out, and four years ago, um, the prime minister that we had at the time was, uh, what was his name? Boris Johnson. Back in 2007, there was an article that came out, and um, pretty much he declared himself to be a, a, a proponent of the population. Okay, so just to bring it out, um, that's really the, 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 the real deal in accepting death and destruction as Esau has influenced the world to doing so, so that we can be out of here and that they can benefit from most of the world's earth resources and they can stay on top just to include and keep the very few that are willing to just be servants on the earth. And also, speaking of, of um, the populationists, I want to talk about this guy over here. Um, let me go to this website over here. Uh, let me just punch, right? Uh, uh, yeah. This um, snakes oil salesman, so-called spiritual leader. I think he's a Hindu or some something like that. But um, <laughs> he ain't having a good time. He's hurting too, man. He's he's had some kind of issue. He's in a hospital. Yeah, there he go right there. <laughs> World Economic Forum leader working to radically depopulate the planet is fighting for life. After emergency brain surgery, see? So he saw all about what he saw is about, but guess what? He about to be out of there too. <laughs> you know? As the saying goes, man, you got to be careful what you ask for. You might just get it. And um, I mean, it, it remains to be seen if this guy's going to be recovering from his surgery or, or, or else. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got to say with this, man. Um, you know, these devils, they're about death anyway. They're about death. You know, as um, Habakkuk puts it, that there is death and cannot, that there cannot be satisfied and, and there is as, as death, right? If I'm saying that correctly, right? Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine. He is a proud man, neither keeper at home, who enlarge of his desires hell and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. And that's that's just the point. Because the thing with Esau, Esau has to do too much. And what he wants to do is he wants to change the way nature is. Okay, he wants to change the algorithm of, of life. Change history, change the story of everything, you know, and, and come with something different else that he can call that he invented and and then and all of that he can say that he is the god he is the most high all right that's what it's all about they want to become gods and this is why they want to tie us to this technological world that they're setting up because with that they can control us on a higher degree and again they can say that they're the most high which is all thoughts of vanity because it's going to lead to nothing. Literally, it's going to lead them to being nothing. So with that, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and the Son. Yahweh Bashmi Shai Bashem Rikar Kodash. And with that, I am out. Shalom.